Hello, welcome back. So, uh, it's such a shame for me because actually I promised you already, I believe, two months ago, a video from comparing all interdict fragrances. So, here I am, I'm coming right now. I know that it's such a long time, but I think that some of you just counted faster earlier on this video so now I'm coming so actually those any interdict fragrances which we have already on the market so other perfume uh, other toilet uh, intensive version they are the flanklers of the fragrance which uh, just uh, they are the flanklers of fragrance which already exist and uh, which already just uh, came on the world at uh, 1957. So the first El Interdict from Givenchy, it came in 1957, so it's yeah, like a long time ago. This scent is already not existing on the market, we cannot buy it anymore in regular, it's not anymore in the regular sale. I believe that uh, there is still on some websites, but it's like a, a pearl, you know, it's like um, something only for collectors are what is really unique. And actually, Interdit, Interdit, the name of the scent, it's mean Ben, Ben, Ben. So it's something what it's. Give, you know, it's something what you kind of do, you kind of go there, yeah, totally. So, uh, I don't know how what smelled the first scent of El Interdit, this which came in 1957, but I can talk about this, which are on nowadays. So, my favorite in the first one, it was Eau de Parfum. Uh, my history, my story with this scent, it was like I ordered a sample and I tested it and I really hate this. I really don't like it how it smells because it smells for me like very alcoholic. It's reminding me about some sweet drink which just, you know, somebody just drop on the, on the floor and the glass is broken, everybody just now walking and they can smell this drink around and everybody have right now the sticky shoes and the sticky floor it's just reminding me about something like that i don't know why honestly kill me i have no idea why just reminding me about something like that but then i decide okay i'm gonna make full day test of the scent and i really start loving this scent it smells like boozy white flowers it's sweet it's uh, fresh it's very feminine you can smell some jasmine tuberose and a bit of some woody notes i really love the way how it smells it's very feminine it's very intensive it's very wow it's very it's very nice it's very lovely right now oh uh, yeah i i just really love this scent and I definitely in future I'm gonna buy full bottle. Right now I just only have the few still few sprays of sample, but I really love this scent. So it's amazing. I honestly recommend you. It's very feminine. It's typical for uh, the other perfume. It's typical for autumn, winter time, for evening time. It's very intensive and very feminine. And of course, very long lasting. It's last over 10 hours so it's really great in my opinion personally uh, other perfume other toilet uh, intensive version they are not different at all maybe a little bit but they have uh, this DNA they are keeping this DNA and they smell almost exactly but only the intensity of the of the fragrances there is different. I know that not everyone liked Eau de Parfum. For some of the people, Eau de Parfum version was very 
intensive was too much, too much white flowers and I know that a lot of people just don't like white flowers notes. So here Givenchy just came with uh, the version Elinta did all the toilet, which is more wearable. Yes, it's more for daytime. It's more even you can use it for summertime. It's more wearable version, so more likeable. Also, more people gonna like it. Anyway, I really love all of the version, but the, my the most favorite is Eau de Parfum. And yeah, Eau de Toilette is more lighter. It's still long. It's still the same long lasting because it's it's lighter it doesn't they didn't you know they didn't cut this longevity it's still long lasting um, um but it's a little bit less intensive has some more greeny fresh notes that's it a little bit intensive, it's more intensive. It's, I would say it's it's dark, it's typically for evening time. Really, it's typically for evening time, for night time. Uh, it's very dark. It's, you can exactly, be, you can smell the sweetness of burn sesame note. And yeah, it's very, it's giving this, you know, this darkness a little bit and this intensity, this sweetness is much more. Um, those, this one I really also like, but it's more oily for sure. Comparing to the other versions, the intensive version is more oily. And watch out because in some uh, materials, maybe on something like, you know, I don't know, a satin or something similar uh, to satin maybe can leave some patches so watch out when you are spraying the oily fragrances on so delicate materials so yeah I think uh, yeah I really love this scent now right now I can't live without scent it's one of my favorites uh, honestly it's really surprised me a lot because I really hate it on, on beginning, but right now I really love it. The way how it smells, the way how it is, it's so feminine, it's so wow, amazing. So I really honestly recommend you just test. If you test other perfume, I mean, this is too much for you, just test other toilet because it's really a lovely scent. It's very feminine, it's amazing. Love you guys. And girls, see you next time. Bye.